about 1,000 to 1,300 women develop a rare heart condition known as peripartum cardiomyopathy in the United States every year. It affects new mothers when they least expect it and could cause fatal consequences if not diagnosed and treated in a reasonable time. I'm Brianna Harris Henderson, and after losing my sister from this dreadful illness and later developing it myself, I'm on a mission to raise awareness and shine the light on women who's been affected by PPCM. Well, about a year and a half ago, um, me and my husband, we were trying to have a baby, and um, we did get pregnant in 2017, had a miscarriage, and um, I went to a fertility clinic and was able to immediately get pregnant from there. One day, um, I went to the doctor and um, was told that the baby wasn't practicing her breathing and was admitted to the hospital soon after to deliver. Um, once I delivered, everything was okay until about a day or so later, I started swelling um, really badly from the, waist, from the waist down. I started, uh, the shortness of breath got really bad. I was sleeping on the couch. Um, I was going back and forth to the restroom because of all the swelling and the water was trying to come off of me. Um, my husband was at work, and at the end of his first shift, um, I called him and I, I explained to him, hey, babe, I think I need to go to the hospital. Um, I really can't breathe. I'm sweating. I'm going. I, it was just horrible. And so he got there. He took me to the hospital, and I was diagnosed with peripartum cardiomyopathy. Um, yeah, when I found out, you know, it was uh, kind of devastating, you know, but at the same time, I knew that God had the power, so, you know, it really didn't, uh, it hit home, but it was like, you know, we're going to take this for what it is and uh, go on this journey together and, you know, come out on top. I was scared, I was nervous, I was confused. After being diagnosed, it was overwhelming. Um, I still had responsibilities, I still had to work, I still had to be a mom, I still had to be a wife. Now I had a lot of medications, I had to wear a life vest, and I had to maneuver life as if nothing has happened, but everything has changed. I would, I would make sure that she was okay every like couple minutes. Yes, and I helped her with the baby and she would rest and I would help her. When I was introduced to the Life Fest, it was when I was in the emergency room. Um, the ER doctor said that um, with peripartum, I would need something to protect my heart until either my heart function changed or the medication began to work. So he um, said, let's try the Life Fest. I immediately said, let's do it. Didn't really know what a life vest was, but was willing to try. They said that if, if you, if you like, like go to sleep with it on without telling it, oh, you're going to sleep, and it would shock you. And I thought it was a little scary. Um, two weeks later, I was, it was at the end of the day, um, I was putting Journey to bed. She was in her bassinet. And Aaliyah, which is my oldest daughter, she was in the bed already. Um, it was around 11 o'clock. My husband was coming home from work. And I was laying in the bed and I went into cardiac arrest. I didn't know what happened. I was laying down on my phone and I blacked out. When I came back to, um, my life vest was talking to me. It was telling me to call um, my doctor. It was telling me, hey, it didn't say hey, but it was telling me that it just went off and that pretty much to stay calm and to notify somebody. And so what I did was I called my husband, told him I think that I just had an episode. That's what I called it. And I called my doctor. My doctor told me to go to the hospital. When I went to the hospital, that's when I noticed that I did go into sudden cardiac arrest. 
and the life vest actually did bring me back. I could have easily passed away and would have left my kids and my husband without a parent, without a mom. It's so it's serious. It's really serious. You have to take it serious. Um, the advice I would give to another husband of a wife with uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy is, uh, you know, be strong, be that chain that um, hold everything together, you know, support your wife, um, make sure, you know, like anything she needs, make sure you give it to her and uh, just be that, you know, be that rock that she needs while she is uh, going through, you know. I don't want anybody to go through what I went through and what other mothers are going through. So I would rather um, uh, go ahead and share my story to prevent it from happening to anyone else. And um, I know other, other people might, you know, shy away from telling their story because of anxiety or because of other issues, but when, when it all boils down to it, um, to get awareness to peripartum, so other mothers won't have to go through it and it saves families. Now that's why I did it.